Hello, this is Rohit and we will be solving the problem just time today. Its difficulty level is cakewalk and it requires observation. It appeared in Starters 47. Chef has recently started playing chess and wants to play as many games as possible. He calculated that playing one game of chess takes at least 20 minutes of his time. Chef has n hours of free time. So our task is to determine what is the maximum number of complete chess games he can play in that time. For our input, the first line will contain a single integer t, which is the number of test cases. And then for each test case, we will have a single integer n, which is the number of hours of free time that chef has. And for output, we will print a single integer, which is the maximum number of complete chess games chef can play in n hours. Let's have a look at the sample test cases. So we know that each game takes at least 20 minutes to finish. And we have to calculate the maximum number of games that can be played in n hours. So as we have to calculate the maximum number of games that can be finished in n hours, we will assume that each game in this case will end in 20 minutes. Because anyway it's going to take at least 20 minutes and to fit the maximum number of games possible in those n hours, we want the duration of each game to be as minimum as possible. So for the first case, n is 1, that means we have only 1 hour and as each game takes 20 minutes, we can play 3 games in 1 hour, 3 games in 60 minutes which is 1 hour so what we do now is as we know the number of hours is n our answer would be nothing but number of free hours n and number of games that can be played in 1 hour which is 3 so this would be our final answer so for the first case where n is equal to 1 the answer would be 3 multiplied by n which is 3 for the second case n is 10 so our answer would be 3 multiplied by 10 which is 30 for the third case n is 7 so our answer would be 3 multiplied by 7 which is 3 into 7 21 and for the fourth and the final test case n is 3 so our answer would be 3 multiplied by n which is 3 into 3 9 our answer is 9 so let's just write the pseudo code we first take our input t which is the number of test cases we then run the loop of length t do this by writing this while t minus minus and then for each test case we take our input n which is the number of free hours that chef has and then our answer would be nothing but number of free hours which is n multiplied by maximum number of games that can be played in one hour which is 3 as is calculated before so it is n into 3 and this is the final answer if you are still unable to understand the problem or not able to get the correct answer to your code then don't worry you can ask your doubt to our doubt solvers so what you have to do is you have to go to the practice problem section and then search for the problem which you are having difficulty in let's say the problem code of that problem is dna storage so you search for the problem go to the problem and then under the ask a doubt tab you can go and ask your doubts and your doubts would be cleared instantly now let's have a look at its implementation in C++ we we'll take our input t which is the number of test cases we then run the loop of length t because there are t number of test cases and then for each test case we take our input n which is the number of free hours that chef has and we calculate our answer which would be n which is the number of free hours multiplied by the maximum number of games that can be played in one hour which is 3 as we saw before so we just print our answer which is nothing but 3 multiplied by n 
and then we break the line the time complexity in this case is constant because we are just performing constant time operations such as multiplication